Hi, welcome to another Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can control the servo motor using these two buttons of left and right. So when you press the right, it goes with 10 degrees to the right, and you press it left, it goes to the left. So or just if you use, if you want to use just one button, you hold it, it goes to the left and right, and until wherever you stop it stops between 180. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Now let me explain the wiring here. This is just a shield and I use this as a breadboard, nothing else. All these pens are exactly the same because this makes it very easy to use. Now let me explain the wiring here. This is just a shield and I use this as a breadboard, nothing else. All these pens are exactly the same because this makes it very easy to use. So all the pens that I'm referring to are at the top. Volvo has three wires here. Usually the dark wire is the ground, the middle one is always the positive 5 volts and this the last one which is lighter here it's orange this is a signal that controls the uh, servo the middle one is 5 volt it's connected here and it's connected to the ground at this point and then from ground because i need multiple grounds i connected buttons from ground this button has two pen and i'm using it you can use four pen doesn't matter so i have inserted this here and this this is the right button connected to pin number two here and then the same thing ground is here and the side is connected to pin 12 so two and 12 this is the right and that's the left one this will work the same thing on the other one but i have to put a lot of wire on a separate breadboard so this makes it very easy and these two sides are connected here and this is connected to the ground Let me explain the code for the first one that just uh, you press a button and it goes to the left and right. So the first line here is the including the servo.h file. This is part of the Arduino. Once you install Arduino, it, it's uh, already included, so you don't have to include anything. We are initializing an object for the servo, and then we are setting the angle, the start initial angle at zero, and then angle step. This is a step how fast you want when you press the button, it should go. But now it's a 10 when you press the button, it goes 10, 20, 30, 40, and so forth until up to 180. And this is a setup. Inside the setup, we are initializing the serial monitor with 9600 baud. And that is this value, and it must match. Otherwise, you will not be able to see the data. And then we use this object with the method attach. 9, 9 means uh, servo is connected to pin 9 which I showed you uh, so pin 9 will be controlled by the servo and then here we set pin mode pin number 2 as a pull up this is when whenever you use a button if you don't want to use a resistor this is the best way internal resistor is used so you, s you set it as an input and also you say pull up when you set a pull up there is a 20 kilo ohm resistor will be connected to the positive from that point from pin 2 so this is uh, makes your life uh, easy. So this makes it easy so not to use extra um, resistor and this is just a text, this text that is printed. Inside the loop from here to here, we just check to see if uh, reading pin number two, the button is connected to pin number two and we say if the button is low. Remember I showed, I told you that it's always high when it's not pressed. When you press it, it goes to low. So we check using digital read, uh, read number two, while this is low, what this while mean as long as you are pressing or the button is pressed, as long as it's true, then do all of this up to here. Here we are just incrementing, adding the step, which is 10 plus whatever was here. Let's say this was zero, 10 plus zero is 10, now this will be 10. Here we check it if angle is less than 0 because we are not allowed to have less than 0 and we are not allowed to have 
over 180 it says if this is, uh, if the angle is less than zero or this two pipe or vertical line mean or or if it's bigger than that then it says subtract so now this is subtracting that's why when you keep the button pressed it goes either left or right because when the value goes beyond 180 it goes to the other direction and then whatever the angle we set it goes to the servo and moves servo to that location as long as your hand is pressed and then we wait 50 milliseconds and then the loop continues like that this is now demonstration of the code so when I press this is a single button when I press it and here it prints the angle the servo moves at any moment it tells you if you want to be able to see it make it a little slower 500 milliseconds so this time it goes 10 but I'm holding it as long as you hold it so this is now 90 and it goes to z 0 and that's 180 this is the code for the dual button uh, uh, here you are using the servo header which is part of the library as before I explained it and this we are creating an object we are setting a initial angle 90 degrees is if you're using it for a steering for other purpose at the middle but you can change it for whatever value you want and a step is five degrees you can increase or decrease it if you want higher resolution make it one degree so when you press it it goes every time with one or if you want to increase it five ten or twenty whatever angle you want and here we have defined left for the left this is 2 pin 12 and then for the right pin 2 so we are connecting the button one of the wires of the button here to the 12 and then 2 so the one that is connected to pin 12 is the left button and for the right button is number 2 and then from here to here the setup 9600 bodies for the serial monitor when we are attaching pin number 9 which is connected to the servo and then here we set left input pull up so this eliminates the use of extra resistor so the button when it's not pressed always it's pull up to the positive which you mean it's always high and the right is also always high with pull up and then we write the angle we are setting the initial angle that we put because this is one time the setup is running only one time so we move the angle uh, servo to that angle and we print this text then here the loop is the important part that does most of the job so one we have a while loop from here to here and this one uh, when you press it to the right it moves the servo to the right regardless of wherever it is so we check digital uh, read digital read right this right mean pen 2 if it's equal low remember the pull up resistor is keeping it high when you press it it goes low so this two equal sign means compare one equal sign mean assign so here we check it and we see if angle is bigger than zero if it's less than 180 then we say get the angle whatever it is subtract the angle because we uh, we want the angle to be within that range so we are moving it to the right and then if the angle is less than zero because this sometimes subtracted it becomes smaller so we fix it here and then if it's not less than zero then here we say write the angle whatever is the angle let's say if the angle was 180 and we are subtracting it it become 170 and then we print this on the screen uh, the, this value and then we wait 100 milliseconds that's the while loop this continues as long as you're pressing the right button now for the left button same thing if it's low so the difference is that we are checking if it's big, bigger than 0 or 180 and here is a plus sign so we are pressing it uh, we're check constantly incrementing it because uh, the left is here um, because the angle 180 is on the left side so we are incrementing it and here we are checking it if it's over 180 we are fixing it here and then other than that we are just putting the angle whatever angle is this the result of this we will move 
We will move the servo to that location and the loop continues as long as you press the button. But, but when you press the button, it will not go above 180 because this is fixing it. This is a demonstration of this. Load the code, you see the uh, servo will move to the middle. Now I'm demonstrating it. So by pressing the right button, so the increment, the increment is five. So when I press it, it goes to the right until it reaches zero. After zero, when you press it, nothing happens. And then, so this is zero and 180 is there, that tip that I put with the black tape. So now it's a 180 and at any moment you can move it and it also shows you the exact location of the servo i've used i've used uh, i've used 100 and i use 100 millisecond here but if you want it slower just increase this value because that's the time and if you want it faster make it smaller Thank you for watching. So this was an example of how you can control a servo with the left and right with two buttons. Please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. If you, if you have any questions or comments, please post it at the this, mm, comment section below. I'll try to answer and reply. Take care. So this time it goes 10, but I'm holding it as long as you hold it. So this is now 90 and it goes to... Zero and that's one eighty.